Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And today I'm excited about what we're doing today. So obviously this playlist is touring our local market, touring Florence, South Carolina. And um, we've been looking at a lot of food. Now there's other things I wanna look at too, but we all care about the food though, let's be honest. And so what I wanna do is we're gonna go on a quest to find the best burger in Florence. Now, I already have my list, so I'm gonna present it to y'all. This is a non-chain list. Let me go ahead and get this disclaimer out before we start this. I'm not looking at chains, because if I was, number two on my list is Five Guys. We're not gonna look at chains. So when you guys comment, send me your favorites, send me the places that you think I should go to, maybe there's something I don't know about. I hope that you are going to comment with things that I have not found. But number one on my list, chain or not, is a place called Buddy's Burgers, all right? And so I went to Buddy's today, and to keep it very straightforward, I got their regular Buddy Burger and their what they call steak chips, all right? And then this is just water. Jeez, I bet that was loud. So I'm gonna open this up. I paid $14 for this. Prices are comparable to Five Guys, but I do think this is the best burger in town. Now, some people, and we have a lot of discussions. Some of the circles I've been in, there's a lot of discussion about this food and this particular burger. And uh, everybody doesn't like the Smash Burger, and I, I get that. I understand. But I do, and I know that a lot of you do as well. We're going to make our way through and find the best burger in Florence. But as of right now, I know it to be this one right here. And there's going to be some on this list that are going to surprise y'all, I do believe, quite possibly. Let's see if y'all can get a good look at this. See if that comes into focus. That should be good. So a lot of people don't like the smash burgers. Uh, they don't like the crispy edges. I think that that I think that gives it a nice texture, and if it's done right, a good flavor. So these are pretty straightforward. They got the buddy sauce, basically like your Big Mac sauce. Thousand Island type rendition. Lettuce, chopped onions, and chopped pickles. That is the buddy burger. And all that is on a brioche bun, which I think is excellent. So let's, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Mm-hmm. It really does have Big Mac vibes. 100%, but it's not McDonald's. That would be a good thing. So if you like the Big Mac, I'm going to suggest to you, you're really going to enjoy this. Oh, and I got napkins today. So for those of you that don't know, Buddy's Burger is located on Palmetto, right behind Naturally Outdoors, right beside Bean Bar. And being honest, I'm not... The biggest fan are their steak chips because a lot of times they're either overdone or, or underdone, especially if you have to travel. Like I used to go by there on my lunch break when I worked at a, at a certain office. And um, by the time you get back, if they were underdone, they're real soggy. But these actually today are like probably the most perfect I've had. You hear that? So they're not bad. I'm not knocking them. I'm just saying I'm really there for the burger. What I'm going to do, because I know a lot of y'all are used to a, a point system in rating food items, but I can't, I can't dial that in. Right. I have no idea. Like 9.2, 8.7. I'm not, I'm not really sure. To me, what makes more sense to help me along is to put things in tiers. So you got top tier, mid, and then bottom tier. And then hopefully we don't run into any of this, but I really probably could say something doesn't even make the scale. Like I wouldn't eat this at all. I don't want to tell anybody that they should not eat anybody else's product at all. So hopefully we don't run into that. But I do have to be honest, right? I have to have a reputation of telling the truth, at least as much as I know it to be. So if your food ends up not even making the scale, then it is what it is, right? 
People want to be told the truth. And so we're starting out with my number one burger right off the rip. For me, this is a top tier cheeseburger in Florence. Now, one thing that they do that I like is uh, every month they have a new specialty burger. So like this month was a taco burger. And I'm going to be honest, I normally just get this one unless something really jumps out to me. But what I might do is at least here and there, we might go try. We might go try the monthly burgers and I'll let y'all know what's up with them out there at the beginning of the month when they come out. Maybe not every month. We'll see. The other thing I'll tell you is I saw today that they had chicken tenders. Dang, I bit my lip. Ow. They had chicken tenders that looked super good. They've also got a honey sriracha chicken sandwich that I haven't even tried yet. They only serve it on Sunday. And I think chicken sandwich and chicken in general is something we got to cover soon anyways, too. So we'll make our way over there. But here's what I want to know in the comments. And I want to hear from y'all. What is the best burger in Florence? I want to know. I want y'all to comment. You got to leave a comment. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. Number one on my list. Buddy's Burgers on Palmetto behind Naturally Outdoors right beside the Bean Bar. Yes, I'm giving this a top tier rating. Now, next order of business. I'm really excited and a lot of people around here are really excited about the fact that Lenore Sellers, South Florence grad, is going to be He's been named the starting quarterback for the South Carolina Gamecocks. And I'm excited about this. This is the first quarterback from Florence to go into a season as a starter for the Gamecocks that I can remember. I'm sure if I'm missing somebody that's supposed to be obvious, then somebody will gladly come in and correct me, and that's fine. But this is the first that I can recall, and I'm really excited about him. Um, Sellers led South Florence to state championship his last year in high school. As a West Florence grab myself, I got to see firsthand how much he can take over and dominate a game or make a difference in a game. And believe it or not, I'm actually more excited coming into this year knowing that he's a starting quarterback than I was whenever uh, the announcement came in that Spencer Rattler was transferring to South Carolina, but for a different reason. And I'm going to tell you why. Because some of y'all are saying, oh, nah, you hyping it up. You're going too far. But I'm not, though. I'm going to tell you why, and maybe you'll see what I'm saying. I was excited when Spencer's uh, transfer announcement came in. Make no mistake. Because a name like that, especially if he produces, which I'm going to suggest, in my opinion, maybe some people feel different that he did, especially from like that Tennessee game two seasons ago all the way through last year. I think that he performed well enough to say that that was a success. And so he lived up to the hype, to me, realistically. When somebody like that comes in at quarterback and transfers to your program in college football, that has the ability to inject life into the program for future names, for future players to want to come play at your school. And so for that reason, I was really excited about Spencer and I feel like Shane Beamer and company nailed it. I really do. I feel like um, that was a success. Him not only coming, but his performance would have liked to see him get drafted a little bit higher. I was surprised. But I really thought the Raiders would take Spencer Rattler um, higher than he went. I was kind of surprised by that. But they didn't. So that was the only thing from a recruiting standpoint that I feel like the only box that didn't get checked. If he'd have went in the even third round, Higher would have been better. That would have looked really good on the recruiting pitch, you know. But I still think it was a success. I think it went well. His career was kind of in the dumps a little bit, you know. And it resurrected at South Carolina. So that was good. But I'm excited about Sellers for a whole different reason. Because I believe, and I want to know if y'all agree with this or not, has the potential to be much more productive than Spencer Rattler was. And I'm going to tell you why. So first, let's talk about his stats. Lenore Sellers had 
about 3,000 yards, 45 touchdowns through the air at South Florence. And he amassed over 1,300 yards rushing and like 17 touchdowns rushing on the ground in high school. And I was at the game. where he threw his first touchdown as a Gamecock. That was pretty cool. But the reason I think he's got the potential to be more productive, people may not realize this, but he's a good bit larger. He's a, he's a bigger guy than Spencer Rattler is. So Spencer Rattler's about six feet. They got him listed at 211. Sellers is 6'3 and listed at 245. That's a big difference, especially on the football field. Anything physical in contact. Sellers is much closer to Cam Newton's size than Spencer Rattler. So as their build, he's a couple inches shorter than Cam Newton, but their weight is identical. Right now, Cam Newton's built at 245. So if all that's accurate, and he is, in fact, 6'3", 245, this is a big guy. And so not only is he bigger than Spencer Rattler, but I believe he's more athletic, too. And I believe that his arm is comparable to Spencer's. I'm not saying he could sling it to the same degree. But I've watched the guy air it out. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he can't throw the ball. And I believe that um, Dow Loggins is going to draw up the offense for the Gamecocks to move the ball down the field through the air. So I do believe they're going to see the ball in the air frequently. But he also has this element of athleticism combined with his size to create plays on his own outside of the pocket. And I think that's what was lacking with Rattler. Rattler's dependent on a supporting cast around him. And just being honest, as much as I hate to say it, we're deficient at receiver, at offensive line, at tight end, and in the backfield. So our offense is not really where you'd probably like it to be, to be a premier SEC program. And so it would necessitate the quarterback being able to to make plays on his own, being able to create offense for the entire offense based on his ability. And I suspect that we're going to frequently see early and often situations where Lenora Sellers is going to be working with a collapsed pocket. He's going to be outside of the pocket. He's going to be flushed. He's going to have to make plays, quick decision, with his legs, with his body. And I think he's up for the task, and I definitely think he's built for it. And so for that reason, I am more excited about Sellers coming in this year. I do have a hometown bias, even though he went to South and not West. Uh, I think that he's going to be productive. So anyways, looking forward to football season. So I think that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Uh, let's just recap. I want to go through Florence, and I'm going to show y'all my list of best cheeseburgers in Florence that are not from chains, all right? Top tier. Right out the gate, I've got Buddy's Burgers at number one. Now, I know all of y'all don't agree with that. I know some of y'all personally that don't agree with that. So in the comments, let us know. What's your favorite burger in Florence? Chain or not? What do you like? And maybe one of y'all will list a burger that I've never had. And you know what we'll do? We'll go check it out. Shit, that's one of the flimsies right there. See that? I'm not big on the flimsies. Especially when they get cold. And lastly, I want to know y'all's thoughts on Lenora Sellers too. Are you as excited about Sellers as I am? So regardless of 
what team you're a fan of. What are y'all's thoughts about Sellers? You think that he's going to do well or no? I know that for us in Florence, we're really excited about him and really hoping that he succeeds. Um, a lot of people, regardless of what college team they're a fan of. So anyways, I just thought that was cool. That's a cool story going on. SEC football is big time football. It just means more. And we have a local product who just did absolutely phenomenal here at the high school level that is going to be suiting up and starting under center as the starting quarterback for the South Carolina Gamecocks come this fall. And we're pretty excited about that. Hope you all enjoy these videos. If you do, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. We do a weekly show that comes out every Tuesday at 7, going over our local housing market, try to touch on all things real estate and Florence-related. And with that being said, I wish y'all all the best. In the meantime, y'all take care, and we'll see you on the next one.